Hello, I'm David Osger and this is Print7, giving you a look at what's been going on in the print industry. As our first video of 2024, we're looking back at some of the biggest events and themes of last year, including some never before seen interviews. First, we look at the work being done by FESPA UK Association to bring more young people into print. Today we're at the, the Next Generation Networking Day. Um, the, the idea of today is really to bring together 18 to 30 year olds in the industry. Um, so we recognise that there are a lot of networking events happening within the industry, but not quite all of them fit uh, the age bracket that we're, we're focusing on here today. A lot of the events are for CEOs, MDs, maybe line managers, um, but actually we've got some really great talent in the 18 to 30s age bracket. Uh, we really want to bring them on and highlight, give them a real showcase of you know the, the amazing talent that they've got and the work they do within the industry. So interestingly enough, when we first promoted this event, we had quite a lot of people contact us and say, oh, I wish I was young enough to go. So we said, well, send some of your staff then. They were like, I ain't got anyone, I haven't got anyone under 30. And, and that's a dangerous place for us all to be if you haven't got anyone under 30 in your workforce. Because 30 is not that young. So we need to make sure that as an industry we're making it attractive for younger people. Um, so that they will then come into the industry and then we need to make sure we support them and we do things like this so that they feel like they're being developed and they stay within the industry. So the worst thing is you go and attract them in and then they leave. Last year also saw a number of events return stronger since the pandemic with many brands and visitors keen to reconnect with one another. Punk Lawyer is my favourite show of all of the shows. I love the small collaboration aspect of the system uh, of the show. We have been able to communicate with all the other vendors while we're here as a collaboration for the inkjet market as the whole world watches as inkjet continues to grow. So we, we always know uh, FESPA as a, as a very dynamic show with a lot of movement, a lot of development and I think we uh, this year we decided to be part of that development and to come to the, to the show to showcase basically all the technologies and the applications that we can offer uh, to the customer and we hope to attract a wide range uh, of audiences. The show has been different to previous years for us it's, and it's been a fantastic show. Um, previously we've done FESPA on a number of times and there's been quite a lot of end users. Um, this, this FESPA, um, I would say the footfall has probably been slightly less but the there's been a large number of dealers and for, for Intec that's fantastic because we've been meeting dealers throughout the world that, that, have, that have heard about the product, have had interest from customers about the product, that, that wanted to take on the product. More than we'd have ever seen and it's very difficult to reach out and, and find normally. So from that point of view it was great. We're actually doing three shows at the same time. There's Sign and Print in Scandinavia, there's C Print in Madrid and there's the print show here in Birmingham. It just shows you where, where print is going as far as reaching out, going to where the people are. It's a valuable thing to do and we're really pleased we came to the print show this year. More businesses and print associations also held events and open houses in 2023 to touch on the trends and topics that continue to be at the forefront of the industry. Yeah, Adapt and Grow Digital Packaging. Uh, we're, we're partnering with Zerotech, uh, one of our resellers, um, with XM Pie, and also with Vivid, one of uh, Europe's leading uh, finishing businesses. And uh, really putting together uh, a show of capability. You know, we, we see that uh, no press sits, on it, sits in isolation, and uh, we're very keen to show the infrastructure, the ecosystem. Uh, as we call it, and partners are a very important part of that. Yeah, so one of the opportunities uh, is, is digital packaging. You know, so as the, uh, the market changes, you know, uh, producers um, are looking for shorter runs, faster turnarounds, more bespoke uh, content that really allows their product to stand up tall and shout from the, uh, shout from the shelves. Conversely, uh, commercial printers are looking for new revenue streams, new opportunities. I think there's a real synergy there between uh, the capabilities that Xerox offer and our partners, but also uh, against that, that, uh, that market opportunity. Um, as we've developed the cutters, we get feedback from customers, and as we've grown and developed a wider media base, what we're seeing is that there is a, a drive towards more packaging products um, and more labelling products, to be honest, but 
This is a, a movement towards satisfying the customer demand for the more packaging products. And the more stuff that's shipped by things like uh, the internet and the Amazons and that of the world, you, you can't put them in a, a 400 micron box, they get destroyed in the postal service. Something like this is, is, is truly, you know, truly you know, robust. It is really a hard card. So it means that we can expand the range of packaging that we can do and the products that you can make from the cutters, which gives the customers something new to sell to their customers. So the trends in, in all aspects are, of printing are very dynamic right now as we all learn what post-COVID things are happening. So we have a lot of changes in terms of where the direct mail and commercial market are going to. There are certainly aspects that are um, looking as if they will have shorter runs, which is always more of an interest for inkjet and digital printing. So while we may see some larger changes within the market, we're noticing, of course, the continued interest and growth in inkjet printing. Uh, when you are at Hunkler Innovation Days, you see a lot of book printing. When you are here, you can show to commercial printers that it's also possible to go into the label space, for example, because we have the same core technology, we have the same concepts, the same degree of automation, but you can also show the commercial printer that he can go into retail signage uh, and, and he can produce wobblers or shelf strips or, or backlit displays and, and so that you really open up a wide range of, of applications um, to diversify the business because as you said it's about application, we see an application conversion so everything is getting a little bit together so rather than a label printer, a signage printer, a commercial printer everybody tries to find their way of, of being successful in the global print market. Definitely. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to see more from Print Monthly, you can check us out on the socials on screen or at printmonthly.co.uk. See you next week.